name is John Valenzuela with the Golden Gate Chapter of the California Rare Fruit Growers. And this video is about how to make the best of this sign exchange, which is our biggest event of the year, where we have hundreds of varieties of fruit trees in the form of propagation material. Just these little sticks from dormant um, deciduous trees where these little buds uh, will grow whole new trees if you root them or graft them onto other trees depending on what's needed. So this video is about uh, what to bring to the exchange to make the best of it and also how you take things um, in the most efficient way. This exchange is our biggest event of the year and it represents uh, collections from all over Northern California. Um, we call them germplasm repositories where people spend hundreds of hours taking care of the trees and making sure they're true to type and that they're best varieties from the past, historical varieties or, or more modern ones that are popular and, and work that will work in your backyard. All right, here's how we collect up science to bring home to propagate. Um, so there are some things you'll need to bring from home to, in order to do that. Number one is your shopping list, I call it. It's the varieties that you're interested in collecting because they are uh, suited to your climate, where you live, and they produce the kind of fruit that you're interested in. You've tasted them or you've heard how great they are. So bring your shopping list. And then I also bring some other references you may have. This is the fruit berry and nut inventory from the Seed Savers Exchange. You can buy this book used online. It's not that expensive. But we'll have these references there for you, plus um, at the tables for each type of fruit. So you don't have to bring those, but if you have some, they're interesting to bring, and you can share that with others. Also, you'll need something to label your little sticks with. So I bring some masking tape and a permanent marker. And I like to just carry that on my wrist so it's easy to write on, and a permanent marker because things get damp and a Ziploc bag uh, to seal them up with. Um, once you get your signs, to put them in a plastic bag with a little sprinkle of water. So, how do we actually collect them? So what you'll find there is are dozens of tables with um, hundreds of bags of these scions. And some of them are a little hard to see, some of them will have nicer labels. But with your shopping list, you can find the variety you're looking for and then, before you even open it up, you can make a label. That way you won't get things mixed up. It's very easy to mix up. You have dozens of people bumping into you and all these sticks everywhere. Make your label first. So I'll just write here, it's a mulberry, comma, black. And that way I'll have it ready before I even open the bag. Keep your pen at hand. So we'll open up the bag and grab a stick. When you're looking at these scions, this is dormant, deciduous, tree and it has quite a few buds on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You only need one or two buds for each graft. So don't think you need a whole big handful. You just need one, maybe two at the most. So in this one I could make two or three um, or four or five grafts out of this. So I'm just going to take one and I have my uh, little label here and I'll just scratch it off and wrap it around there. And then I get out a plastic bag, a Ziploc bag or something I can seal it up in to keep it moist. And I'll put it in there. And I'll just take a little sprinkle of water and make sure it's moist. A little sprinkle of water in there. And keep that sealed up. And on you go to your next one. So what you want to do with this on your way home, don't let it get in the sun, don't let it dry out. Um, keep it in the shade and put it in your fridge when you get home. And don't let it freeze though. You know how that can happen sometimes in the bottom parts of your fridge. So make sure it's nice and cold, just above freezing, and it can last up to six months in there. And what you're doing is you're waiting until the optimal time to graft or to root it up by cutting. So that could be in a month or two months or even three months away. So uh, depending on the species, you can store it that long and it's still viable. The abundance of scions left at the end of our sign exchange are brought to the other CRFG exchanges. So please don't take more than you intend to use. Here are a few more things in addition to your labeling things to bring. We have those. Um, also, I suggest bringing a pen and a pad to take notes because that way you won't forget things or you meet new people and stuff. So that's a great thing to bring. Um, bring a couple of pens and you can lend one to somebody. Um, uh, also bring a little bit of money. Uh, we're asking for a donation at the door to enter and also there will be uh, root stocks to purchase or other fruit related propagation stuff that you can purchase there. 
Um, also, if you are a uh, if you are growing fruits or plants, um, please bring some. This is called a sign exchange. We're looking for people to bring stuff too. For example, you can bring uh, plants for our uh, to donate to our drawing, our plant drawing, or silent auctions that we have. Um, and when you're bringing plants, make sure that they are without pests. We don't want to bring pests or disease to spread around our community. So um, you can go online and see which pests are known to be in your county and make sure that you're not bringing any. But mostly dormant, leafless plants are pretty safe. And make sure it's all clean there. Um, in addition, if you have large trees that you can uh, make cuttings of, um, please bring some scions. We have a great video that discusses how to um, cut and prepare scions. Um, so please look at that. Uh, but I'll give you a brief summary right here of what we're looking for with our scions. What we're looking for are um, uh, trees that have already fruited and that we know that they are what we think they are. Because sometimes the names get confused and we want to be sharing uh, wood from trees that we know are what we call true to type, that they make fruit just as we thought they are. Um, we don't want to bring things that are, are protected by plant patents. Patents are the way that breeders are able to make a living. So for about 20 years they get to have a little royalty. After 20 years we do get to propagate them. So there are some patents that are off, that have expired by now. We have a list on our sign a, um, exchange website uh, on the Golden Gate chapter that has a list of ones that have come out of patent that we're free to trade now and also a list of ones that are still under patent. So the other thing is we want them labeled properly. Um, it's nice to have a nice big label. You can download these kind of labels uh, from our uh, Golden Gate chapter website. They're nice and clear. It tells you a bunch of things about it that will be useful for folks who may want to grow your variety. Um, we want to have clean, here, here's an example of a nice scion that has been prepared. It's clean, it's leafless, it's in its dormant state, it um, doesn't have any pests on it, it's disease free. Um, we're looking for this nice new growth, we call this. It has no branches, it has no little fruiting spurs on it, it's just the last year's growth. And those are the buds that are rearing to go in propagating. Uh, we want them cut to nice size that will fit in a bag. We don't want you to bring big trees in that somebody has to take a saw to. We want them cut up in nice six to eight inch lengths like this and put in a nice ziplock with a little bit of water like this. Um, if you're unable to prune it down yourself, find a friend or ask somebody to help you get it down to this size and nice and clean like this. Um, Lastly, if you have any um, fruits that you'd like to share with us, that's what it's all about. And this time of the year, there are some subtropicals, but maybe there's some late apple varieties um, that you have that you'd like to share with us. Bring any fruits that you have, and we'd love to talk about them and share them with you because that's what it's all about. Keeping it juicy. This is John Valenzuela with the California Rare Fruit Growers Golden Gate Chapter talking about how you can make the best of our sun exchange. Visit crfg.org website for loads of information on rare fruit. California Rare Fruit Growers is a nonprofit organization founded in 1968 that promotes the growing of rare, unusual, and heirloom fruits. With 3,000 worldwide members, look online and find one of our 20 chapters that's closest to you.